Hello and welcome to the Moodle Man blog. This is just a quick video showing off the uh, new Moodle News widget that I've built. Uh, if you want to grab it, you can download it from the post. If you click onto Moodle News Dashboard Widget on the blog, sorry, my internet's a little slow, uh, you'll be able to grab it from a link that says click here to grab the widget. Uh, to install it, once downloaded, you'll have a zip file on your desktop. If you double click on that, it will extract the file. And once extracted, you'll have your widget. Double clicking on it will install it into your uh, into your dashboard. There we go. Click to install, and you'll have it here. So I'm just going to go keep. Now the way the widget works is it actually allows you to bring multiple news uh, multiple news items from Moodle into your dashboard. By default, it'll always bring in the latest news, but you can choose, for instance, to bring in the latest modules and plugins from the modules and plugins database. You'll see here's a, a new course, a dedication block that's just been released and themes. And the most recent additions will always be at the, uh, at the top of the list. The great thing about how it's been designed is it'll give you the maximum number of headings and should one interest you, you just click on the plus symbol next to it and you'll be able to read that article without even having to go to the Moodle website. Although obviously please feel free to come and actually check out the full detail at the site. Um, again here we go themes. If I was to go on the Medallis Tango theme, you can see there's a, a screenshot of that theme and information about it as well as uh, download links. So look, that's a quick introduction to the block, uh, to the uh, dashboard widget. Please feel free to uh, grab it from the blog and uh, make sure you leave comments and suggestions for improvement in the comments so I can keep working on this uh, widget and make it better. Thanks again, until next time, goodbye.